What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we have another challenge video between cameraman Nick and I. We are also in the new set brought to you by the Container Store. Super excited to show you guys this later in the video and thanks to them for sponsoring this video. But today, Nick and I are battling to see who can buy the better $2,500 mystery box. But the challenge for this one is we're gonna be buying it catering to the other person. So my box is gonna be catering to stuff Nick likes, his box will be catering to stuff that I like. So I think it should be fun to kind of show you guys what each of us would like, what we would get. So are you ready? Yeah, I've really been thinking about this like over last night and I'm really hyped to finally instead of have the store put it together I put it together for you so we were gonna have do this and have the stores put it together but this is like what we think each other would like so we're gonna try to stick as close as we can to the sides and everything like that so let's go ahead head to the first store it is gonna be my store showroom ATL I'm gonna be picking for Nick let's go all right so I'm up first I'm headed to showroom ATL we're gonna go ahead and see what we can get for Nick see the best we can do for 2,500 bucks I think I'm gonna get some stuff good for him it all really depends on the store though if they have what I need because Nick likes his sizes a little bit particular he likes just 11s where I'm a little bit flexible. So hopefully we can find some stuff. All right, guys, we're at North Point Mall right now. That is where Sherm ATL is. We're gonna go ahead, go inside, try to get this done for Nick and see what we can do. Okay, I'm jumping in here before anything else happens. So of course the goal is for Nick and I to buy boxes for each other. But to me, when we're doing this, it doesn't make sense to do this without Nick getting the actual stuff that I'm aiming to get him. So I'm actually going to surprise him today with an early birthday gift and everything that I get from his box is gonna be for him. Now, this is gonna be very important to get close sizes because I know that if he gets something, he wants to keep it for him. So I gotta be really smart about what I get and hope that I can find out some good stuff. Nick also really, really loves the Grateful Dead. He has the Yellow Bears, two pairs. They have a Green Bear in 11 and a half, and I feel like that could be really good, but the size, I feel like he could deal with it for that, but I might, depending on, because that one's like 1,500-ish, so depends on what else I can find, because that's kind of like his thing, is like he loves the Bears, and I know one day he'd love to complete them. So I walk into showroom, and the first Thing that catches my eye. There's a pair of Grateful Dead green bears sitting in the case. Now, they're a size 10 and a half. Nick is an 11, but he said he can maybe do a 10 and a half, but all I know is that he can size swap these if he wants to. I figure he might want to, but I think that I'm missing out on an opportunity not to get these Grateful Dead bears. They have these Philly SPs in a 10 and a half. That could be good. Um, again, he wants to be at 11, but I have to do what I can, so. I'm gonna see. So with what I'm seeing, I'm thinking maybe a pair of these shorts here. He likes kind of that color and then maybe for Yeezy Slides, he doesn't really wear them and hasn't gotten a pair. And I don't know if that's because he doesn't really want them, but I feel like he could use one to kind of like when he's just trying to hop on a pair of shoes and run out to the car or something. Um, so maybe an all black pair would be good. All right, so I'm thinking these two also. So I think this could be good. And that'll leave us at five items. If uh, we gotta ring up, make sure the price is all good. I haven't fully checked, but we'll see. But I think, I think he's gonna like this stuff. So I think I found all the shoes here. Some of them are iffy, but there's one in particular that I'm excited to show him. It is a Travis Reverse Mocha in a toddler size. And he's always been wanting like toddler sizes of certain shoes. So this would be perfect. All right, just met Nick outside. I got my box, carrying it out. It's not too big, but got some good stuff in there, I, I guess. All right, Nick's turn now to head down to the city. All right, guys, I'm hopping here to remind you to make sure you subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and click the red button down below. We are trying to get to 2 million subscribers by the end of the year, and also turn on post notifications if you never want to miss when you post a video. So we just made it over to Hype 24-7. I'm with Harry. He's gone into his store showroom and it's sounding like he had some pretty good selection. So I'm kind of excited to go in here to Hype because I know they have like, they usually always have stuff that you like. So we're gonna get in here and check it out. I'm excited to go in there and actually try to throw together a mystery box for stuff that he's gonna want because I want to see his reaction. Yeah, and so he has a little bit of leeway with the room for sizes. 
I'm like 11, 11 and a half, sometimes 12, depending on the shoe. He's very strict on his, so he has some wiggle room in that. I had a little bit less, so I had to be very specific. All right, so let's go in here and talk to Khan, see what he's got going on. All right, so my main goal going into hype is to really look around. I wanna take a solid look around when I get in there and see like what's in his size and then kind of make my selections from there. All right, so we're in here at hype. I'm looking around. They have so much stuff in here. This is gonna be crazy trying to pick stuff out. I'm already seeing a couple things. I'm seeing a couple Jordan 1s in his size, stuff like that. So right now I think we're going for 2,000, but we could go up to 2,500. So I'm gonna get con from back around the counter and we're gonna take a look at a couple things. I was looking at the Jordan 1s. I'm trying to see where's the one. He's about to grab one down for us. Dang, that's a really good one. LA to Chicago, size 11 and a half. That's his size. It might be a little big, but. All right, so we're looking around. Con found, to me, this is the Halloween Jordan 4. I know it's not really like Halloween based, but this shoe is sick. It really reminds me of the shoes I have on my feet the mummies, it just like goes with it, like a Halloween pack for, they have so much stuff on the SB wall too. Do you have, oh man, you have a bunch of Bart Simpsons. Do you have any of those in a size 11 or 11 yeah, and a half? Yeah, I just put back size. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's a cool one. There we go. Oh, there's so many options in here. All right, so I'm kind of looking around at this shelf right here. They got a lot of crazy stuff. They got the new Brooklyn Air Force Ones right here. Those are super fresh, but one thing I just noticed is these right here. This is a pair of used size 11 UNC Jordan 1s. Oh man, and he's only got them at 1300. I think that might be something crazy to add to the box. I don't know. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm looking around and I've already found my main shoe that I want for the box. It's a Jordan 1, but I can't find like the other little things that I think would be cool to add on with it. Like I'm having a hard time finding SBs in his size. All they have is one. All right, guys. We've got a pretty good selection going so far. I think we're gonna look at some numbers. I'm gonna start looking at a couple other things and see if we can break this down to exactly the price we're trying to get to. There we go. Now we gotta get back to the warehouse and open these up. Finally got everything together with Khan. We looked over everything. We were really, really close on going over on price, but I'm pretty happy with what we came up with. Don't be taking any peeks back there. I'm not looking. I just opened the trunk. Nick did, I didn't see anything. I'm free. I got a box here that you could put it in, but I'm not looking. Yeah. I'm not gonna sit here and say the confidence levels are off the charts, but I'm definitely happy with how that turned out. All right, guys, gonna hop in here and give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is gonna be Container Store. If you cannot tell by the brand new set and setup we have behind me, I'm super excited to share with you guys. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Container Store came in and installed these brand new Alpha setups for the warehouse. Now, as you can tell before, we had pretty weird and plain setups and it was time to transform the space. And that's what we did with the Alpha setup. We have one over here that features a bunch of different stuff as far as a clothing rack, so it can showcase new merchandise coming out. We have a bunch of different little knickknacks with some cause figures, some different shoe boxes, and then the main master wall of sneakers on both sides. You can see we have displays of sneakers. And then in the center, we have the angled shelves that showcase all the shoes so perfectly, as well as all the boxes on the top. Look how much more full and better this space looks after we go ahead and transformed it with the Alpha setup. And if you go to the container store, you can get up to 25% off an Alpha setup for your own house, closets, whatever you may need. And that is through October 17th. Go ahead and check that out. Alpha is the perfect solution to go ahead and transform a space and it is completely customizable. All of these were all drew up by me and the team over the container store and I think it came out awesome. You can choose to install it yourself or take advantage of their installation services. So go ahead and check out the link in the description down below if you wanna transform your closet, your room, whatever it may be and get that up to 25% off until October 17th. And thank you to Container Store for sponsoring this video. All right, guys, just got back. We have our two mystery boxes here. We have to decide who's going first. I think a uh, trusty old coin flip will do us. This yeah. is a gold dollar, and uh, we have heads and tails. Which one do you want? I want heads. Heads? All right, let's flip it. Here we go. It is tails. Ooh, okay. So does that mean I get to choose? I guess you can choose. All right, I choose that Nick goes first. All right, I'm, I'm, gonna go. I'm going first. As in... Your so, box, I opened it. Back. Yeah, okay. This is, I'm just so excited for this dude to open this. All right, so I'm doing the unboxing first and we're gonna see how Nick did. Now, the hardest kind of crutch in this situation is going to be sizes. Uh, trying to stay close to sizes was tough. 
We both have about the same size of an 11, so we both had to try to deal with that. Uh, these stores don't have infinite amount of all these shoes. No. So is there anything I should be warned for? I would say open up the bagged item last. Bag last, okay. Okay, that's it. All right, let's pull out. See, or I see, I feel a box. Let's pull this out. So it's like a Jordan 1 box. It is a Jordan 1 box. Is this the new Jordan 1? Maybe this is the taxis. Oh, it's no. not. The LA to New York. Is it LA to New York? So that's one shoe that I really nice. thought you needed back. You took yeah. that really sick photo back in the day and I was like, dang, those in his size, perfect. LA to Chicago, that's what they are. Dang, they went up. So I got these for retail back when they came out. And uh, if you don't know, the colors uh, kind of come off of here. So when you rub this with like rubbing alcohol, it'll go to the bread color, right? Yeah, bread and it bread of life. Too, yeah. So this is a cool one. That's another good one. A little bit of an older pair, not one I was expecting. I thought maybe the taxis, maybe the taxis I mean, are in here. This but would be a cool one that if you actually wear, since you beat your shoes, this will look crazy. I destroy my shoes. All right, next I feel skate deck, which feels customary every time. Oh, that's pretty cool. Had to add some variety in there. Yeah, so we got a skate deck. This is from the Smurfs collab. How are these doing? Are these like reselling? I or? think they're around like maybe 20 bucks over retail max. Yeah, most skate decks from Supreme don't do that crazy. Uh, even like the only ones that do well, are like I have the Burberry ones, that's like one of the only ones. So I just peeked in here. I see a Jordan 4. Should I guess at this or should I not? Because I, mean, I would like to see you guess at these because I know- Jordan 4, if it's a new Jordan 4, I think it's the purple ones. I don't think you've seen these in person. So you might have. So am I wrong? I mean, you're right. I'm right, okay, okay. So we kind of pointed these out the other day, but I figured it would be these just because I'm thinking of new shoes that have come out and you guys you know. You cannot tell me this is not a Halloween Jordan 4. It is a Halloween to the max Jordan 4. I mean, I get the vibes, the purple, the green. I actually like these. It reminds me of the Friends and Family Travis Scott that I sold for like 25,000 bucks back in the day, but this is a good pair. I actually like these in size 11. Yeah, your size. Yep, so they're women's sizing, so 12 and a half. So that's good. Looks like we got, what, like two left? I think we're doing good There's, so I saw the bag and I saw a, another box, a size 11. I was hoping you would get these. Yes. I was hoping. Each one, teach one. I didn't get these on release. This is the Pada Nike Air Maxes. Check those out. Oh, they're blown out. They're all white. Here, I'll pull them back. They're all white and gray. And these are, no, they're not reselling for crazy right now. Most of the Padas don't. But uh, this is a really clean colorway and size 11 would be good. It's a good summer shoe, even though summer's coming to an end. Dude, I was looking around this store so much and I was like, wait a minute, Con, do you have those new Padas? And he was like, actually I do. And in a size 11, I was like, sign it up. I don't even care what I had picked out already. I was like, those are going in no matter what. Yeah, I would have got these for you, but they didn't have them there. I think, I mean, I don't know if you'd wear Air Maxes, but I think they're kind of cool, so. I mean, I don't really wear Air Maxes, but I'm not gonna lie, this colorway is yeah, super clean, super clean. All right, I think that's it. Last one, I see the receipt here, 24.85. Mine was 2,500 flat. He was able to work it, okay. work a deal. Okay. So is this a no box pair? This is a no box pair, but I think it is the heater of heaters for this box. So 500 with three maybe. To and me, then, in my opinion, this could be the whole box. If I'm doing math here, this has got to be like 1,200 bucks maybe? Right around there. All right, let's see. It's my lunch sack, paper bag. What do we got? Have I had this shoe before? Yes. And you've sold it way too many times. I, <laughs> I know what this is. Jordan 1 UNC Off-White. Crazy. I actually saw them post these like two months ago. I would have figured they sold by now. A no box pair. I did sell these and I did regret selling these. The guys, these guys know I tried to buy them back not too long ago. And uh, these are pretty clean. Look, the uppers on these does not make sense for the bottoms. Like yeah. they're worn but the uppers look brand new. So they had them at 1300 bucks. Yeah, these shot up. This is one of my favorites that I've had in a long time. And uh, I actually, I think this is a good box, Nick. I think it's good. I'm, the ones that I would say that I've been like seeking, like that I would take back, these, 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 I'm not as much seeking, but I understand why you got them because I got rid of them. So, so. I was really close to getting a, I think it was a bread toe or black toe. Uh -huh. Jordan brand new in your size, but it was a little over the price range. So I went with this instead. Cause I thought like yeah. cool shoe you've had back in the day. Haven't seen it in a while. Cool. Well, I think that's solid. And he came out after tax under 2,500 bucks. That's pretty solid. So I like that. I think that's pretty good. So now it's your turn that I think I have about the same amount of pairs. I think yeah, I do. I gotta, I gotta get my hype up because I was so hyped for him opening this. Now you can be hyped for opening your own. All right, guys, now it is time for Nick. It's gonna be better in front of the box here. So I went to showroom ATL. We've actually, we did do a mystery box from there, but it was one that was like the $500 one that okay, they didn't yeah, even know we're going there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the first time doing it there. Again, I struggle with the size a little bit. But one thing I want to mention before Nick opens this up, this box, we had to pan curate it for Nick. So this is going to be an early birthday gift for you as everything that's in here is yours to keep. 
This is a really? this is an, it's a little early for your birthday, but this is an early birthday gift because okay. I wanted to curate stuff actually for you that you get to keep. So. I was not expecting this at all as an early birthday gift, but dang, now I'm like even more nervous to open yeah, up this yeah, box. Yeah. What the so, heck? And what's funny is that like one of the main things I was gonna get you is like in here it was perfect, it lined up, and so we were doing this video. I was like, all right, Nick's getting his own twenty five hundred booster box. He gets to keep Rob because normally I buy them, pay for them, and we wow. keep them. So okay, I mean I'll go ahead. All and right, let's see it. Let's have some let's fun check here. It out. All right, let's see. You can stand up. I'm about to I'm about to walk around. I don't even know what to do now. So that's Stuff on the top, they kind of threw in as like extras. So okay, that okay. So, you so no tape on this one. No tape, Thank no. God. All right. All right. Don't look. Just keep pulling out one by one. I see some clothing on top. So this is they threw that actually threw that in there for you. So right. shout out to them. That's fire. Definitely need some more essential stuff. Some some cool hoodies for the winter. Yep. So just a nice little essential hoodie. That'll fit perfect. Shout out showroom. They threw that in for him. They're like, what size hoodie is he? So that's cool. And then they also love the color. They threw in some uh, short. I just pulled out. Of piece um here just pull this out next i didn't because, i didn't see anything yeah so that's another one right there all i didn't right, know right. it's essential short i don't know nice, if you'd wear those some nice comfy boy essential shorts these are fresh i can wear yep. these around the crib relax so they what i was trying to pull out is they sent, uh, gave us some shirts so some like shirts from showroom which is pretty yeah, cool that's fresh so you can have one of these i can have one of those so pretty cool shout out showroom for that and then here goes the box so don't look and just grab whatever okay. you feel first i, I don't I, know what's on i'm top. not gonna I, I think i saw a easy easy box right here okay so, never okay, never okay, had okay. these this is like the last item that i picked that i was like you don't have these maybe you'd like them to like throw on and run out of your car or whatever All or right. pick up your postmates so yeah i need some if this is the black this is definitely Okay, okay. I was okay. like, the black guy in the buy. He already knew yeah, that yeah. the black, out of any of the easy slides that I would wear, it's definitely the black. And I know you don't, like, like I don't know, these aren't, you haven't bought them yet, so I figured you're not, like, the mo biggest fan of them, but I thought if you could have them just to throw on yeah, and run out. I mean, all I know is I'm definitely going to wear the heck out of these, just not to the pool. Cannot <laughs> yeah, wear these shrink. outside. They're going to shrink. All right, first shoe off the rip is a slide. That's a slide right there. Actually, I'll put this over here. I keep trying not, I'm trying not I'm to trying look not to in look. the box. Just feel around in there. Am I grabbing a good one? Should I grab this one or should I grab this? This one. Um, go this way. This way. Go down. Yeah. Oh, right here. Yeah. What is this? Is this a is this a toddler shoe? It is. Yes. Is this a toddler? <laughs> what the heck? That's so funny. I thought you'd like to have it like on your shelf, like a cool yeah. little. Oh, this mochas. is like the perfect size too. I thought like when I was grabbing the box, they might be like a little big. This is exactly the size that you want for like a little display shoe. Yeah, I thought because he's wanted like some of the Dang. certain shoes, like if they made a baby strange up, which they don't, but something to kind of display. This is so cool. So I had that. This reminds me, I had the opportunity to buy like a baby uh, Grateful Dead yellow bear, yep. and now I have to go back and find it. Yep. So I gotta one, have. One day when the kids come, they, they're gonna have some fresh shoes. This is crazy. This is really cool. All right, I need to check which one is which. So don't look. Turn away for a second. The one on top next. One on top next. All right. This is another cool one. This dude's got all kinds of surprises um, today. The size is uh, it's not perfect. It's ten and a half. Um, but right. this one, I, I'm not sure if you like these. It's a cool little, cool little shoe. Nike though. SB box. Okay, okay, okay. The Phillies. Yeah, yeah, I definitely. I was trying to go for these on sneakers. Obviously, didn't hit. But these are sick. I definitely really like the blue on these. I wish they were uh, a Braves. Yeah, I know. We don't have a Braves on. We won the World Series. Come on, give us a Braves. My one. favorite thing about these is this right here. That little gum hit, like you stepped in some gum at the baseball game. These yeah. are these are sick. They're clean. Uh, yeah. You guys know I love pink. This dude's doing freaking great so far. All right, we're doing pretty decent. The last one, I hope you'll keep these. There's one shoe left, kind of like you, where it's kind of around that price range. So you can pull this out, pull the box out. Right, I'm trying to think, well, where are we at so far? Cause that's like... This is almost as much left. A we have a little bit more left than you had left with my last pair. Okay. So similar. All right, that's already a really good sign right there. Okay, they are a ten and a half. They are, but I, I, I just thought you have to have it. Maybe you size swap them, but go flip it this way so you, they can see it at the same time. Mm, All right. I'm like, uh, I don't even know what's going to be in here. Oh, yeah. Okay, bro. Dude, I've been trying to get these for so long. Holy. I knew when I saw those, I was like, we have to do it. Oh, man. So he's got like two pairs of yellow bears, and I'm like, he's going to one day want to complete the collection. Oh, Look at his shirt. Look at the shirt he's wearing. Of course. Grateful like, Dead. Grateful Dead shirt today. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to. Ugh, I'm going to have to find an 11 in these. Yeah, I figured. Yo, these are absolutely disgusting. I was trying to trade my reverse mochas for these for like two weeks, and I couldn't yep. find somebody. So hopefully on some of the apps or something, you can maybe find a trade. But this is a, uh, this is. I mean, he's going to have the trio one day. The orange pair is the hardest to get. But you've got two yellows and a green, and hopefully you can find 
and 11. This is, this is crazy. This is so, nuts. So it is time for you guys to battle now in the comments down below. Are you guys to vote on the battle of who won? So let's pull out both mystery boxes and see who did better. I can't, I cannot believe this dude just said that this mystery box is for my birthday. This is the last thing that I was expecting today. So not to throw myself under the bus, but you guys got to throw this guy a nice little vote. I'm glad Nick enjoyed the pairs that I got him and hopefully he can side swap some of them to make them fit. I know the easy slides will fit, but I think the Grateful Dead's he will side swap. I'm excited he can get a pair. And so if you guys are throwing me a vote, you can. If not, throw it to Nick and we'll see he won fair and square. All right, so we got the two boxes right there side by side. What do you guys think in the comments down below? There'll be a straw poll, a link in the description down below to go ahead and vote who picked the better box for the other person. This is all kind of like personal preference also of like yeah, what we yeah. think each other would like, but maybe you guys have a better idea of what we'd like. I mean, I wasn't expecting to get my mystery box today, so my vote's for this guy, not gonna lie. All right, finally, hopefully I finally can win something, but no, I actually really like mine too. Again, the UNC ones, these are ones I'm gonna be keeping. I've had them twice now and sold them. My OG pair I sold and I tried to get them back from the guy I, bought, I sold them to. He said he already sold them and flipped them for 500 bucks more, so it was gone. But let us know in the comments down below what you think. Again, Nick's birthday is not that close, but I thought I had to do it now because it was a good opportunity. I mean, it's coming in November, so honestly, like it was a good surprise because I wasn't expecting that at all. Yeah, a month or so away. Maybe he would expect it something close to his birthday, but yeah. uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Go ahead and check out Nick in the description down below. And this is Harrison and Nick signing out. Peace.